<laughs> yeah. But the best part of the whole thing is the guy who was ahead of the whole study out there with the unearthing of the dinosaur, he's being interviewed. Now he's got to find it's unbelievable. If you can change the whole timeline of history, you know, with your findings, the guy's like, oh, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, um, you got to watch. So what was he saying? The dinosaurs are less than 10,000 years old? Well, I don't know, but it's not, it's hard to prove it's 60 million years old when you find muscle tissue, blood tissue in it, and fiber, the lady says, that won't, that scientists say won't last a million years. And they found this where? In Colorado on the dinosaur. He did test three times. And then after she wrote the article, you've got to watch the, the, the article on, on 60 Minutes about it. It's great. After the lady found in a publisher, they ripped her up and down about it because, well, the people want to believe what they want, right. old science. So they went and checked another dinosaur that was supposedly 80 million years old. And they found the same thing again. But nobody can explain it. The, the scientists can't because it's not supposed to be there. But evolution is exists, right? It is real, no? I don't know. That's not. If you go look at the charts, the Cambrian area brought you up to you. How's that? Did you check that out? No. <laughs> you're, you're, lacking, you're lacking information. <laughs> you know, you ought to turn that on you. All right? Because you're lacking the Cambrian era. It's a great era. 32 species pop out of no place. No place. No pre no predecessors, no nothing. All of a sudden, you got 32 new species of animals. Natural there. selection. Right? Yeah, okay. That, that, that sounds good. Right? Radiation, you're going to tell me? That's what I like to tell. <laughs> I want to see the, the radiation part of it. What about like the what about the the idea that uh, flying saucers may have created life on Earth? I don't know about that. I can't go that. <laughs> but we'll turn that off for a second. Oh, uh, the UFOs. Uh, uh, their thing. <laughs> Do they exist? Yeah. <laughs> UFOs. Yeah, uh -huh. sure. <laughs> yeah, we can't, you know. Yeah. Brian, do you have to tell me, what, what, was the, what was the UFO that you saw? Well, I'm a satellite watcher, so I was watching satellites where they go across the sky, right. point of light, very straight, you know, very symmetrical and all that. One day, this is probably back in 1974, I was watching a satellite, or so I thought, and I saw it go, and all of a sudden, it kind of stopped and then exited. So I don't know what it was. It wasn't. I didn't see it close. It wasn't like it was I here or lights. All it was it was a point of light. Unsolved mystery. What was the cause of the explosion? Of what, what explosion? Oh, the Big Bang. Yeah, and what caused the pre predecessor to that? There had to be a, everything in science has a cause. Right. So what is it? That's what, they, that's what they say too. They don't. <laughs> they don't know an answer. It's a mystery. <laughs> of course it is. It's simple. But the that's, fossil record, that's, though. That's the way of getting out of it. All right? That's the way of getting out of it. Oh. Oh. Or, or radiation. That's always a great one. The radiation happened and changed everything. Where but the but there's a fossil record, though. The fossil record does show that, that the evolution of species. No? Not really. Not if, you look at, not if you go back and look at what they show in the Cambrian era. Because they went through it and just watched the video. That's all I can tell you. You can sit there and do whatever you want, but unless you go back and look. Where's this video? On the internet. It's on the internet. I can get it from my buddy. I watch. It's out there. It's out there. Where is the dig? The truth is out there. No, no. I don't know if it's in China the dig or where it was the dig. And they did it. And it's, China? And it's in the, that's, probably, that's probably a growth industry, too.